Hello everybody, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. That's Denmark, where we're paying the iron price. Um, or we're trying to make England too. I've decided in the last couple of episodes though, we're going to change what our plan is. And um, as soon as they are able to be grabbed, we're taking them. Some of that. Now, I could go to Novingrad, and it, doesn't, it does make sense to do this. And basically tell them that, um, well, as soon as we can afford it, it's probably a good idea. But let's continue the game. There's some rebels that want to pop. We have money. That's good. We are not close to teching up, thankfully. Well, we are kind of close to teching up, but we're going to probably take the idea to get more troops. And then spend money getting troops, which I'm fine with. The last rebels are these guys in Limerick. Very easy to take care of. Those rebels are almost done. We're going to go ahead and annex Norway. And the reason being is we need to get rid of their troops, first of all. But second of all, we also need to take their lands. Um, it'll help us out, take their navy, help us out, make us stronger and other people weaker in our country. Unfortunately, we're still too far away port-wise. Now, what that does mean is we're not going to have any Diplo points, although the next one is really good. I think we wait then for this Diplo idea to get done. Don't want to wait 12 years, like it says it's going to take. Um, is anyone Tech 11 that I want to build a spy network on? You are. Okay. Hey, England. Let's continue building on you. Yeah, with only three powers a month. Three power a month. That's pretty weak. Could take someone more expensive, but... Could also come to the burgers and demand points. They would give us some right now. As much as I wouldn't mind that, I want to wait. Um, can I change my country? Change government. We are a feudal monarchy. We could become an administrative at Tech 10. Tech 12. It gives us more money. But it lowers our manpower. And I do feel weird about that. An absolute monarchy is pretty damn good, though, for the unrest at 20. And the discipline, of course. Unfortunately, we don't get another good one until we get um, Despot at 29. That's just because the autonomy changed and the manpower more than anything, but... In the meantime, we're going to work on paying off loans. We currently have three loans of 240-ish ducats apiece. We're going to get some more stuff here. We have our Danish idea. Okay, we got to read these. After the Black Death, we were forced to take desperate measures to keep the Danish nobility and, by extension, Denmark in good shape. These laws that prevent peasants from moving estates have the handy consequence to make it easier to find recruits for our army. That's good. Oh, naval traditions. Even... Since even before the days of heroes such as Ivar the Boneless and Slev Forkbeard, the Danes have always taken to the sea the natural affinity of the strengths that can be harnessed. And then we just got this one. The Treasury, because I'm not going to try to pronounce that, was a specialist department of state set up to maintain records of government transactions. It also took the task of seeking to estimate further government revenues and expenditures. Um, this allowed for better control of the government revenue. Plus 10, and we got our supply trains which is useful now that being said how many how much ducats are we making now 12 ducats a month holy hell okay so we have our 56 percent which is very good we can pay off a loan we should do so could convert we should have taken this idea to get more military points back but it's not that much, so. Do we convert? I mean, converting is a good idea. We can convert Yorkshire. At this rate, we can start it at least. Our rebels will be done in 17 years. It's not going to happen. And if you can get done in a couple of years, we're probably going to take you just straight up. And Sweden is disloyal. Go figure. So our reputation is going down. Um... Let's try and cut them off from affairs. Um, Dishonored Alliance. When does that go away? Four more years. Good. Can use that to our advantage. Uh, 
the meantime, our spy network is going up. It's about it's a good amount. Unfortunately, I mean, it's cutting down, which is hilarious. November 1st, 1549 to October 1st. It's about a month, a tick right now, which is good. Um, shoot. Let's come back from Norway. And we should start working on the integration. It's going to piss them off. We're actually going to be losing power. It'll be done when? 57? Holy hell, that's going to take forever. But I can't afford any other thing. I could enforce their culture, which will piss them off and cost us basically all of our diplo points. We're not going to give them ducats. Although minus 20% liberty desire is really good. Currently 1.4 ducats. Sure. Change by negative 20 while we do this. Good. Then as my prestige comes up, their stuff will go down. Which makes them loyal. Good. Okay, and we don't want to build a building. We actually want to get this guy. No Muscovy has declared war for Novingrad. Annoying. Now here's my question. At 10 prestige, do you stay at percentage? Negative prestige. No, yeah, you do stay at actual point percent. Okay. So we got more troops, right? There we did. Corruption. Oof. I don't want to lose stability, so let's do that. Um, let's find something out here. We can afford to have 62, but we have an army with a 27. So that's our supply range. Do I not have a supply map mode? There you go. You can support up to 40 here and 35 there. Okay. So we should build at least a couple more infantry per stack. This makes us stronger. And our vassals are just going to have to deal with it. Um, we could make this the first and second armies now. You're the first. You're the third according to this, but I actually want to name you the second. There you go. And what we could do is look at attacking England. And we do have claims, and if we're not taking ideas, then we can work on this. We should take this core... Lubeck has embraced colonialism. That's interesting. I'm surprised it took him that long, but... We are making ducats. If we can get them under 40%, we'll probably do it. Better power, 24.8. Fortunately, Muscovy is still supporting your independence. Let's keep boosting up the military. Okay, that gives us 25 in the front and 2 in the back. That's not bad. Do I want to build boats? I would love to. I have room for 4. We could come to the burgers if I got them happy enough with us and demand points or in demand land to give you to the burgers it's a good idea to do so that makes them happier also it gives us a little bit more trade power up here tyrannical nobles oh, do I want to piss off the nobility even more I don't have a choice I'm not losing base tax unfortunately it's just not worth it English Brazil exists we could take Brazil as a colony we so desire, and it's not a bad one to take. Unfortunately, getting down there if they have a fort is a bad thing. And they will have a fort. Yeah, 
They don't have much of Brazil. Oh, they do have a good, sizable Brazil. Their liberty desire is zero. Your liberty desire is still zero, Austria, and I don't understand why. We can afford more infantry. I mean, right now, if we're affording it, we might as well build them, right? Let's get up to 27 with... Um, that being said, we don't get another combat with until tech 14, so we got a little bit of time. So being at 27 is a good thing, then. Um, what I will do is I'm going to kick this general. And we make points back per month. It was 8... We're only making Ziplo diplomatically, but that's fine. Uh, but so it seems like Bavaria annexed our marriage, or axed our marriage, which is fine. Fine with me, at least. So if we go up two more, we'll be at the max width, and we can start building cannons, which would be really good. And then the question is, does that Grand Captain pay for himself? Right now, he'd only be paying for 0.7 ducats. And while that's not a little bit, um, he's almost going to be ten times more expensive. So no, it's not really worth it. Come back from there. Thank you. Let's go ahead and go up to that much at least. Same here. I guess that's 27 exactly. We could start building cannons, which is not a bad thing. We do have the army size for it, and building cannons will make us stronger in the long run. So let's do it. Of course, it's going to cost us what little ducats remain, but... We could build two more. We'll wait until we get... Um, how much is it? 28. So we'll wait till we get 50 ducats to do so. 56, officially. Should be about two months. Okay. Then that should make me strong enough that no one really wants to fight, right? Somerset is no longer part of our realm that we can ask for. Damn. Well, I really don't care. We've gone through here and regotten claims. We should get these two at the very least, but... Actually, we can get the last of the Danish ones. Northumbria as a state, huh? It's true. We need one more province from Northumbria, which is Lancashire. And then we can make it a state. Confidently. Uh, West Ireland could be a state. Which... What the, well, this one will be the only one to actually gain a benefit from it, so we're going to wait. Not too worried. Okay. And fabricate a claim till we have 40 points. Okay, that's going to put us at 31 stacks. But what it also give us is enough troops that I don't really feel worried. And we just got a crap ton of... Is Lothane really that pressing? Three? Wow. Okay. Maybe it is. So if we can get the burgers to give us heavies, we will do so. Um, at 30 points, it seems like a good idea to do so. Don't want to tank our prestige, though. Our legitimacy is going up. Our prestige is going up. Now here's my question. I know we have trade efficiency. I don't have the extra colonial range guy. Damn. Let's see what little Catholic zones we have here going away, which is good. Our integration is at 10%. Also good news. Still gonna take us forever to get this done, but it's fine. Right now we're not making any points. Cor Norway has accepted colonialism. That's nice. Procedure's almost down. Integrating Norway will give us another slot, which will be good. Okay. Castile has their marriage. You're not their union, so that's good. You are, but I can't do much about that. Colonial tariff guy, not good. With this, I can guarantee we'll be close enough to reach over here and start colonizing Canada and stuff. I don't like that Castile has or Spain has Bermuda, but we're going to have to just wait on that. Who is your... Spanish La Plata. Okay. 
That's fine. Do not want to see something like Florida. If we were to fight you, and we have more than enough troops, right? But the Fran the French Oh, we still have a peace treaty. When does that end up? Forty three, so in about a year. Our trader has died. Navigator. Okay, that could do it. So level one navigator, so he's not even that expensive. And 390. Are you kidding me? 390? Wow. Just too short. Damn. Let's come here. I'm going to improve relations again. And the same thing with you. Now what we could do, although it'll piss you off badly, is we can come to Novingrad and tell them, hey... Um, I will lose manpower, please, because I don't have base tax. Um, I could come and enforce their religion, which will piss them off, but on the same hand, it's not too bad. Uh, our army's at least big enough, so I don't feel bad. Navy, I would love to get more transports now, but... We want us to take half of our army across. We could do more lights to make more money. That's always a thing. I don't even want to know how much I'm going to be paying for armies. Uh, we could siphon income from you. How much would you give me? Siphon income. They are in debt, so they can't. Only 48 ducats. Not really worthwhile. Okay, we're making about 6 ducats a month. We are gaining manpower, so that's fine. We got a diplomat, that's good. England has got a fleet together. A little bit scary. You would not be supported independence, which is stupid. The reason why? You're an administrator. And a lawgiver. Novingrad has also accepted colonialism. Nice. Let's check that out real quick. Colonialism. It's been embraced in most of the nations. Um, Sweden has not embraced it. Norway, I think, has. Yeah. Sweden has it present. And Novingrad has embraced it. Golden Horde, or the Great Horde as they're now called, I guess, has it also. So that's interesting. Let's continue. Our missionary over here is almost done. That'll bring up some uh, religious unity up and get rid of rebels there completely. And then I guess the next question is where do I want to go? And I should go to Northumberland to start converting them. Draw first. I doubt the Catholic Zealots are going to get anywhere. Second of all, I might as well. Um, don't know if our merchants are doing any good where they're at. Required. Recruited Conquistador. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Um... The growth of cattle trade. For many years, the Oxen Road, for centuries, the Oxen Road has carried armies and merchants up and down the center of Jutland. More than anything, however, it's used to bring thousands of cattle to the great market of Weedle. Okay. From there, the Oxen are brought via Stade, Hamburg, Lübeck, and resold all over North Germany as the population of the late 1600 continues to soar, both in northern Germany in general and the Baltic region in particular. The demand for cattle, grain, and fish is rapidly rising. The size of herds brought south are now approaching 40 thousand oxen for each market. Wow. Export of agricultural produce and especially oxen is earning a, a fortune of German and Dutch money for our landed nobility and our market, market town burgers. Some worry, however, that the development of empowering these large estates of the nobility while small time free peasants suffer. More money has never harmed anyone. Gain five prestige. Gain trade efficiency. Goods produced in Denmark in general for 30 years. Development cost goes up though. That's fine. More importantly, that prestige helps calm down people like you. If our reputation goes up, we're in good shape. I Some would say I should have started with Sweden, and I kind of do agree, but I wanted to get Norway done so we can start um, getting some pl places done. 
the most stuff done. Um, I don't want to give you money. I could take admin points, which is not a bad move, although we are still a couple years ahead of time. By a couple, I mean literally two. Corruption, huh? It's coming down. It's going to take a little while, but it'll be down. Is anyone at Tech 12? You are. And you are higher in Diplo as well. So I should come to France and spy. Um, if for no other reason the Pope is also Tech 1210, then for no other reason then we can use that to our advantage. We can also spy on Austria, which would also be a good thing. Let's come back from Sweden. And actually, I have to spy on England to spy on them, don't I? Yep. Let's spy on France, then. Funny enough, it'll help out with our tech cost, so I don't see why I wouldn't. Heretics of Yorkshire have been converted. Nice. Let's get Northumberland under control. I'm going to come back. I'm going to take the church powers from you. And I'm going to assign the um, missionary strength guy. So instead of being 37 months, this should go down. We should see that 27 go down drastically, too. We got 21, and now instead of 37, you'll only be roughly about 20-something. So that's good. Can't imagine it being higher than 28. So and Danish network in France is working hard. Good. Truce with Bavaria has ended. That's true, I was at war with Bavaria for a bit. Um, we could get more cannons. Obviously, five cannons is better than what we currently have, but let's not worry too much about it. Um, Huron has accepted peace with Ottawa. Fine. The robber barons going away in two years is really good. Um, the annexation is chugging along decently well. We now have just legitimacy causing us issues. I think that did speed it up, but I can't tell. It's only 11 years now, which is fine. Um, unfortunately, it does mean we're losing Diplo points, but then we're going to start gaining about 6 Diplo points back a month. Actually, 5 Diplo points a month after that. Which is going to be painful, I understand that to be true, but I can't do much about it. We could take this and start colonizing, though. And I am debating that. But considering we're just going down in points right now, it's not worth it. I guess the question is, is that minus 26.1% or 26 is going to go down after I take out Norway? It should. I really wish Muscovy wasn't supporting them. It's costing us good ducats to keep um, them loyal. If we can get more... Actually, I think positive prestige doesn't matter, it's just negative. So it does not matter what I do with you. Because with England has ended, though. Come back and look. If I were to attack you, not that I think you would attack me, but if I were to attack you, France would join if I offer them territory. Brandenburg would almost join. Commonwealth would not. How many favors do I owe you? Or do you owe me six? Okay. What about you? You I owe you you owe me forty one favors, huh? I'm gonna use ten to bust their trust. Boost their trust. Not bust their trust. Thank you. By doing that I plan to use that to my advantage. You are still not wanting to declare war, huh? Admin is going up, military is going up. We're going to need these points. Getting to tech 12 would be good. Military tactics is really good. Um, we're going to keep an eye out on the French because they're helping us out even though they don't know it. I am debating going to an administrative monarchy. Um, I think we are going to lose manpower, which is annoying. But on the same hand, we're going to gain money. And that could be more useful than not. That being said, though, we are coming close to paying off our loan. Um, really close. Only 40 ducats remaining for that. 
We could request... I don't want theologian. Where's the master of mint? You're the diplomat. You're the master of mint. It's not a bad one to take, honestly, to lower this. And it's a level 3, so we'll make a lot of points. Right? However, I can gain... Okay, we're positive prestige, so I'm fine with that. Let's take this. England is starting to claim land. I'm going to go ahead and build a spy network on you, and we're going to start reclaiming our land. Claim land against you. That's been a quiet episode, but it's fine. And Northumberland has like 25 years before they pop. And you're going to be done in less than a year. Or in about a year or so. I'm fine with that, honestly. We do not have enough manpower, though. And that is something to think about. We could have more issues if we run out of manpower in a war. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Sell titles. Gold or admin. Gold goes a long way. Admin, though, is admin points. Let's take the admin. Nobility like me, burgers hate me. Yeah. The nobility not being upset would actually save us a lot of money. A lot of money. Um, right now, I'm paying an extra... Actually, I'm paying base because of the nobility. If they stop hating me in a month, we'll see how much we make. We're currently paying 8.75... And now we're paying about a half a duck, about a ducat less, which is really good. Now imagine if they actually liked me. They liked me more. They had 75 um, opinion with me. They would actually pay more. If we could get, if we raise a conquistador. Um, not too worried about that. The palinate has no air, huh? Hey, palinate, where the heck are you? Excuse me. You're all the way up here. Okay, if you die, you get inherited by the Commonwealth. And uh, let's hope you don't die then. And we could do like Lincolnshire is a good one. Taking Kent would be better so I could get this. But on the same hand, why don't I just take these two and then take all that in one go? Yeah, and our loan just renewed itself. Damn. Literally one month off. Well, it does happen from time to time. Okay, let's tech up. We will tech up admin to make more money. 9.33. We'll wait for the military points to come in, which will be good. The beggars are still upset with us, but not for long. At the end of this month, though, no, at the end of next year, they'll be happy. A year from now, they'll be happy enough to give us ships. Which, of course, will then piss them off, but eh, I'm not going to be developing for a while, so. And in fact, the printing press will be around soon, which hopefully it appears in our nation. That would be great. All right, we got a level one Inquisitor. That's not a bad one to take. But we're making a lot of money here. It makes sense to keep our money coming in at 10 ducats a month. We'll repay one of our loans. That leaves us with only one loan to repay of 240 ducats. We should be there before it's due. Easy, I would say. And we're not going to do anything with the French. We're just trying to get spy network points up. France wants help. I'm going to accept France. There you go. You have my sword. That's about it. Cause that's all I'm willing to offer you, but you have my sword. And we can bring our boats out here. I mean, you don't really need our help. It's just Brittany. Literally, you don't get anything for us helping you. We will tech up military. Thank you. And we are going to take... Um, here's your question. Which one's better? Free shooter is better on shock. We are currently doing more damage on shock. And more morale is good. So let's take it. 
more attacking morale at that, not even defensive. All right. And in the meantime, we should make enough money to pay off our loans. Hopefully, you I don't think you're fully annexed, but if you give us some more land or give us some access, we'll be happy with that. We could bring out a fleet. I really don't want to. England knows, or France could move their boats over here, but they don't want to either. And I'm not about to land and help when you've got 80k troops sitting there. Funny enough, this will actually give them enough opinion with us that we could go to war against, um, it should give us enough favors, that they could go to war on our behalf. I've apparently done 29% of the battles. I have no idea how. Now, the obvious move would be to go ahead and betray France later on, get some land, but I really don't care about this. Taking this island and moving to the New World is... A good idea, though. So we're going to might use that to our advantage. We'll see, though. But thank you very much for watching. In this episode, we haven't done much. We're about a third of the way through our... Literally now, about a third of the way through our Norway annexation. We've, like, increased our army to actually manageable sizes now. By manageable, I mean good for us. At least enough to keep our vassals under control. Enough to hopefully... Um, Oh, we're about fifth in the world. I'm not feeling bad about that. Um, two, co two great powers are above us that we're enemies with. Two great powers above us are friendly, so that's fine. Spain is an enemy. Bohemia is an enemy. Austria is an enemy. That's terrifying. England, on the other hand, has all of 20k troops, and we have 60 that we could throw at them if we need to. So that's good. I'm actually going to mothball the forts because we're not needing them. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you get rid of the one in Lothane? It's 48% defense. Like, maybe it does make sense to get rid of it now, but at the time, I mean, that's a lot of defensiveness. But thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.